Hello friends, you are welcome again to my channel. Well, in this video, I want to show you something very important. It's a very simple trick, but it's very, very important and it can help you a lot as an electrician. All right, so what I'm going to show you today is how to use a two-gang two-way switch as an intermediate switch or how to change a two-gang two-way switch into an intermediate switch. All right, so we need intermediate switches where we want to control one light or a set of lights from three different locations. All right, so for instance, I have this lamp and I want to have a wiring system that will enable me to control this light from three different points or three different locations. And to be able to achieve that operation, you need one intermediate switch together with two of one gang two-way switches. So this is a one gang two-way switch. And then this is another one gang two-way switch. All right, so quickly, let's look at how to do that one. I already have my two-way switches, but instead of an intermediate switch, I have a two-gang, two-way switch. All right, how do we do that? First of all, we know that intermediate switches have one gang, but in this case, the gangs are two, and so they don't work together, okay? This works separately. And so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that this becomes one gang so that the two can be operated once. So if we are pressing it down, the two should come down at the same time. If it has to go up, the two should go up at the same time. Okay, there are two ways of doing this thing. All right, so the best way of doing that is to get a single gang that will replace these two gangs. And that would have been the perfect way of doing this because there wouldn't be anything to show that this is a two gang that has been changed into an intermediate switch. But unfortunately, it's not all the time that you can get a one gang that can perfectly replace these two gangs. So there is no harm in trying. Let's try and see if this one will fit. If it doesn't fit, we we'll still have a way around it. So we dismantle this one, and then we remove the gangs. We want a single gang. So we dismantle this one too. We remove the gang. Then we try to see if it will fit here. If it does, perfect. But the way this one is, it looks like we can't achieve that purpose. If it doesn't fit, there is still another way around it. All right, so unfortunately, as you can see, uh, this one is not compatible. It's not, it's not connected. So we have to put it aside. Then we have the second option. In the second option, we will still have to maintain the two gangs, but we have to find a way of attaching these two so that they will all move at the same time, either down or up at the same time. So the only issue we have here is that it will still look like a two-gang switch, just that it will operate as an intermediate switch. All right, so in that case, we need a super glue, and then we attach the two in a way that cannot be easily noticed. So we do it here. What we are trying to do is to attach the two gangs so that they will operate simultaneously on each operation. So we leave it for a little while to dry. All right, so now that we are able to attach these two gangs together, it means they move together. On each operation, they all go up and they all come down. So now we can wire this together with these two switches to control this one light. Let's look at how that is done. So in wiring this type of intermediate switch, the first thing we'll have to do is to bridge these two terminals and then we'll also bridge these two terminals. Okay, so we get a piece of wire and then we connect from here. And then we get another piece of wire and again, we bridge from here. And then that also comes here. 
All right, so that is the first thing we need to do. Then the next thing we do is we get a feed wire to the common terminal of the first switch. Then the common of the next two-way switch will go to the lamp. So a connection from here. to one terminal of the lamp holder. So the next thing is that we'll have two wires from each two-way switch to the intermediate. So we have one from here. And then it connects to L1. Please, the aim of this video is just to show how to change the two-gang two-way switch into an intermediate switch. If you want to learn how to connect the two two-way switches with the intermediate proper, I have a very comprehensive video on that. I have shared the link at the description of this video, so you can watch that for detailed explanation. Our second connection will also take from here, and then we bring that to L2. Okay, our next connection takes from here to here. The last connection for the switches will take from here, L2, to here. So that will come and join this wire here. Okay, so we are done with wiring the three switches. But now our super glue is dry. So we are able to successfully attach these two guns and then make it one. Okay. So, so. Okay. All right, so now our wiring is done. So we have one two-way switch, another two-way switch. This is our two-gang two-way turned into intermediate switch. All we are trying to do is to be able to operate this light from any of these switches. Okay, so supply on. And basically, I should be able to control the lamp from here, control it from here, and then control it from here. So here, we no more have two gang, two way. We have an intermediate switch. So we can use these three switches to control this one lamp. These lamps can be many. We can look from one to so many other lamps. Okay, so here, on, off, on, off, on. On, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. This is how you can change your two-gang two-way switch into an intermediate switch. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe in case you have not yet done that. See you in the next video.